Hello and welcome to my next little talk on how you too can learn to play the music of ancient Greece. And um, today I'm going to tell you, um, note for note, how to play the first Delphic hymn to Apollo. Um, incredible piece of music. Um, it dates back to about 138 BC. And according to all the boffins, um, this might have been sung by the boys' choir for the Pythian Games in 138 BC. There's also a first Delphic, um, a second Delphic hymn to Apollo. Sorry. It should be more precisely dated to about 127 BC. Incredible. A little bit about how the ancient Greeks sort of notated their music. A very simple system. Um, you have the text of the, the songs, and they represented um, the pitch just by letter names above the notes. And the rhythm then can be easily inferred from the syllables of the text. Amazing. Anyway, this piece of music I've recorded at studio quality. Um, on my nice little new album called An Ancient Liar and it's available um, from cdbaby.com and shortly it'll be available also for download from Apple iTunes. Um, I think it's track 9 you can hear this on my album, um, the first of the Kim to Apollo. That's my plug out of the way with. A um, little bit about the lyre I'm playing um, to begin. This is actually um, a lyre, a, rep a replica of a lyre played by the ancient Hebrews. Um, and this had ten strings. We know this from the writings of Josephus Flavius, um, the first century Jewish historian, and also from the biblical text. And this thing is mentioned as early as Genesis. So ten strings, presumably, as they say, to remind us of the Ten Commandments. Almost identical to the ancient Greek kithara, the large wooden lyre, played in ancient Greece by the professional musicians of ancient Greece. This had seven strings, I believe. Um, so how I've got it tuned to play the Delphic Hymn. Um, the Delphic Hymn, the actual notes can be found on Wikipedia. But it's hard to transpose um, it down a tone so I don't snap all the strings. Um, right, so I've tuned it um, C, that's string 1, then D, E, F, upper third um, to A, B, C, D, E and F at the top. So I'm going to say give each note a number, just like the tar had to make it a bit easier to understand above my dodgy scouts accent. Apologies. Um, right, we're starting off with um, A, which is string 5 on your lyre. Then we go to string 4, your F. Then A, string 5. B is string 6. C is string 7. Another one. B is string 6, 2 two Bs, A is string 5, string 4 is F, back up to A string 5, um, string 5 A again, 3 Fs, which is string 4, back up to A string 5, string 5 again on your A, B, which is string 6, 7, string 7 is C, back down to B, string 6, String 5 is your A, back up to string 6, which is B, A string 5, and then we have um, F, which is string 4, back up to your A string 5. And we have um, 3 A string 5. So let's little the sand of here from string 1 up to string 7, up to C, which is string 7. Two C's. Skips down to string 5, your A, string 7, your C, two C's, string 6 is your B, string 5 is A, back down to F, string 4, back up to string 5, your A, A again, which is string 5, 2 F, string 4, back up to A, string 5, nice glissando going down here to string 1, which is C. Another C. E is string 3. E again string 3. 2 F string 4. Back down to C string 1. Nice glissando going up an octave here. So string, from string 1 up to string 7 the next C. 3 C's. Up to string 9 which is E. String 10 is your F. E is string 9. Back down a third to C string 7, and then E again string 9, another E, another E string 9, back down to C string 7. A 
nice little um, this hand up to string seven again, just two C's come on. Two C's skips down a third to your A, which is string five. Another one. Back up to string seven, which is your C. Then we have B string six, another one. A string five. String four is F. E is string three. String four is F. String five is A. Another A string five. String four is F. Back up to um, string five, which is your A. String six is B. String seven is C. Where are we? String seven is your C. Then we have um, B, which is string six. Go back up to C, string seven. Eight is string D. Sorry, D is string eight. This is hard work. This E is string nine. String ten is your F. Skips down a minor third to D, string eight. Two Ds, string eight. E is string nine. String ten is F. E is string nine. Another E, which is string nine. Down a major third to string seven, which is your C. Three Ds, that's played um, string eight. Now this is very tricky, the next note. You've got to play B flat, but we've only got A, which is string five. How do you do this? Well, what we do in ancient Greece, they just sort of apply a little bit of pressure, just using your nail or your knuckle or something. Act as a fret, so that raises the pitch by a semitone. So here's your A, and I'm going to raise the pitch just by pressing lightly with my finger, like that. So I'll just show you that bit again. We we'll take it back a bar. So you have your um, E, which is string nine, C, string seven, E, three three Ds. Then this B flat is achieved by just pressing down here. We have um, how many B flats have we got? Two B flats on string five, like that. Then taking your finger off, you're back to string five on your A. Four A's. Another A, which is string five. String four is F. Another F, string four. String five is A. String six is B. String seven is C. String six is B. Then string five is three A's, then three E's, that's um, string three. That's the only, that's where the fragment goes up to an amazing piece of music. You can also do a little basic accompaniment to this using string one, your C, and string four, your F. It really adds a bit of colour to the tune. Etc. Beautiful melody. Check it out. Um, An Ancient Lyre Echoes the Ancient World. All details on my website www.ancientlyre.com. Bye for now.